We'll guide you through how to make and create a new drive in Windows 11 and 10. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is really useful to be able to do. If I go and open up my file explorer, click on this BC to the left, what we can do is go and create another one here. It's super useful for separating files and things like that. To go and get started, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search, and you can go and type in disk partition. So what we can do is go and make a partition for the new drive. Go and open it up like so. Now what you need to do is go and scroll down here like so into the disks. Find the disk you want to do this with. So what we're going to do is go and basically shrink this volume here to go make another. So we're making a new drive. So find the disk you're doing this with. I'm doing it with this too. Right click on the existing partition or volume and then click on shrink volume. You'll get this pop up. What you need to do is go and enter the amount of space you want to go and shrink. In this case, I'll do it by 80,000 like so. And I'll then press shrink like that. So I've then got unallocated space. And we can go and make this into a drive. So you can then right click on the unallocated space, click on new simple volume, click next. Then it should already have the amount in there for you. Press next. You can choose a drive letter. I may do A for example, and then press next. You can then choose these different settings here. Personally, I just leave them as they are, and then we can go and press next. Press finish, and that's it. It may take a few seconds, not too long, and just like so, it's now been added. So if we return to my file explorer, we can go and see it here, new volume A. So I can then go and use this like so.